quite an early start today. We are off to Midland Machinery Show. Uh, John Deere Mick is going to pick me up in two minutes. Let's get down there. Jumped in with John Deere Mick. Mm. Looks like we're going to get wet. Quite possibly. Some wet around here as well. Well, we've got here. But here's already a cracked open flask. Yeah. <laughs> not wrong with that. Whenever he goes, he will 100% have a flask on him. Do, do you carry a flask as much as John Deere make? That's what I want to know. Let me know in comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's a nice voucher, isn't it? Little robot flail. They got the grenadiers on. I'm sure last time you could uh, test drive these at the show. Uh, we'll maybe see about that later. This is looking uh, good, isn't it, with all these lights on? 185. Nice. Things like in this following hour. Oh, it's got chains on it, hasn't it? It's a chain, it's a hour, isn't it? Ah. Plenty of drills, trailers. A big manito here. The Valtra. And they do look well, these ATS masses, don't they? You think they look nice, mate? No, I think they, I think they do look well. But a lot of people who watch the channel love the masses. These conveyors are big, aren't they? Huge. Insulated. But they are. You have one of Kramer. I've had to just go back on the cells because this is a big jersey base. It's a base 560, 80. Eight meters, six ton. Oh yeah, it's a unit that into it on the bubble of tires. Very nice. Folded it all the way, couldn't they, mate? Oh. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think we'd be touching that building. It's huge. <laughs> RMV, so these are a local firm to us. Um, with the Deutsch Far. It's a bit bigger than that one we saw the other day, isn't it, when we were passing? Oh yeah, like that size, yeah. 250 horsepower, that. Oh, nice. More big sprayers from Houseman. What are we going to say, mate? Not that's one of your mates. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. He might be here today, maybe then. Maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll get, get hold of him. Um, Teagle as well, at this side. So this is a new one that they've uh, come out with. So I think the thing is now, they can put it either an axle on it or it can be three point linkage. Um, it's built as one unit. As you can see there, there's a top link bit. Obviously it's got the, this one set up as a trailed one, but the one that goes on the back of the tractor is exactly the same machine, just without an axle. The machine them though, we literally, couldn't farm without one anymore. Um, it's yeah, it just helps our job so much. Anyway, we'll get on the bit so. Makes my front press look like I'm playing, doesn't it? That is huge. Is it six meters? So I've got one of these in blue, similar, but it's only half the size. That's got to take a tractor to pull that on it. So that it's just saying the headstock steers on it, so you've got a bit of movement on there. When you're going down the field trying to keep straight. But yeah, what beast. So it's got drawers and it's just folded out the vice here. <laughs> yeah, this is like the look this is luxury spec, this isn't it? Eh? So a little company in Lincolnshire? Yeah, yeah? Lincolnshire. Yeah. Lincolnshire. Yeah. Beast. New Holland telehandler for New Holland fans. Big 300 horsepower one. It's got a fancy box on front as well. That's all the rage now, mate. Front boxes. Also a few Merlots about. Is this Mick looking at a motor? We've got one of them on the stand at Chandler's here. Along with a lot of Valtras and very, very big. Very, very big. Um, and green. We'll have a look at it next. Look at that, what a beast. 
940, so does that mean it's 400 horsepower? It is huge. Very nice in there. The man's just got me a key so we can actually have a look inside. Oh, he's got, uh, he's got some stuff in the bottom so we don't get it mucky. Very nice, eh? Yeah, I could just see this in South Yorkshire, doing a bit for us. Well, the Opus coffees are here. It's even got the uh, number plate holder at the front, which we don't need at UK. It says people put their name on it. That is nice, isn't it? So you can test, uh, test the Kramer out here. Maybe some other stuff as well, I'm not quite sure. It's a big class uh, combine. I reckon that's got wider tracks on that, mate. They look wide, them, don't they? Be wider, stick out wi mm. wider than track and and wider than the wheel at the back. Yeah, the horsepower is a class 660. That's what I want to know because it looks like a big, big lump to pull there, doesn't it? Mick thinks over 200. I told him yet that my uh, drill dropped down. Maybe I ought to borrow that. And, well, in fact, that won't, it won't go in. Need a power out of a combi at a minute. Um, yeah, my metering wheel broke last night and um, so some of that ploughing that I was main, meaning to catch up to it'll have got wet this morning, which is a bit of a nightmare, but um, yeah, we'll have to soldier on when it dries up. These look good, don't they? Agri-weld mud flaps. And there is a show, show special if you come 600 quid. Tidy them. Keep your trailers uh, clean. Yeah, you could pull them up and hang them up, can't you? Body up, yeah, put it higher or lower, mm. and then adjust it, it for width for your mm. tyres. Mm. Mm. Tidy that. They won't mind one of them put back at six two fifteen. That'd be uh, that'd be nice. That, and you can also pick up trailers, so it's tidy. This is what had gone on mine. Apart from mine's a chain that's in here. The chain had gone, and we got some bearings. Um, so I wonder if to change ours to like a digital one because it might be cheaper than actually buying the chain and the whole unit. I don't know. I could put a motor on. Well, I just seen this and I am a bit, a bit baffled in in some respects. No, it's auto grease that I think, isn't it? Is it? Well, I don't know. No, yeah, huh? And then there's like some tines on it. It does it? Oh yeah, I see weeder. In there, there's all cameras, and this interweeds with these hose. When it sees a weed, it'll go. Or is it? Is it? Will it detect the plant, or does it detect the weeds? The plant. Ah. So to take all the manual weeding out. That's what I do. Jesus, that is some piece of kit, then, isn't it? Ah, we open up the hood. There's a camera there and a oh, light yeah. next to it, so an LED light, so they're trying to create an environment that's dark in there so you've not got sunlight affecting what it's looking at. Right. So you can see exactly where each plant, plant is. is. Yeah, some technology gone into that then, isn't there? Yeah. I just saw this and I'm like, what's that trailer doing in there? Let's have a look at this. Ah, so it's just um, a bit of a forewarning, really. Till Tilly the trailer. I don't think this one would have passed for some reason. So we Mac from Machio looking at this one. Looks tidy. So it's got a single disc this. Yeah, there's a single disc one. We can do a double disc as well. The one's on the, the lighter power arrow. We can get a more heavy duty one as well. It's a good good drill. Connects into the isobus so we could change that all on the screen. These lift a fair way up, don't they? Is that just for transport that? Yeah, for transport it falls up and then it falls down and then the operation. Ah. Shed, mate. Yeah. 
That could be for me. Becky would get me that, you know, for a dog house. I could put it back for now and I don't get this car. <laughs> I have got a reform by the way. Now then, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, hey. We got the new new loader tractor for the summer, carting bales. This be our new loader tractor for the summer. Yeah. <laughs> Finish his food. I'm at the Unimog stand, but um, I've got a car salesman here <laughs> trying to sell me a new car for Becky. It is a, it is a dream, like. Has he got six seats? Six seats. Tell you what, I'll throw the phone in for Becky as well if you have. <laughs> Done deal, twenty thousand pound. I've just paid for it. We're going to take it out today. <laughs> Even got a reversing camera. Look, look how tough that is. That is like major tough, and it's magnetic. He says, "Oh, it is." Look at that. Just put it where you want it. Yeah, so it was on there looking at the pickup hitch, and then when you maybe got your trailer on or you took it off or something, you just. So in these, you can move the steering wheel to the other side of the machine. He says in under a minute, but we're, we're sort of putting him under a bit of pressure here. So you whip the... I've forgotten the keys. Oh, we'll cut, we'll time, cut. Right, we've got the keys now. Whip your centre panel out, press the button, slip the whole block across. Pedals, steering wheel, slip your back panel driving, back in. Driving in Europe now, if yeah. you want. <laughs> Good. Unique, that. I like it. Seen as, seen as we bought this for a bargain price, I ought to put it in video, I didn't I really? I don't think you would sell it me for that, let's face it. Thinking of going into the cattle business, mate? Is that a spreader? Farm star. And some money too. And some thin Kubota. Tractor or something, isn't it? All right, I think these Kubotas. Quite nice. I'm just looking, this Manitou is a nine metre. Bit, uh, bit higher lift capacity as well than, uh, than ours. Wow, that's a beast, isn't it? Absolutely humongous. That pushing the clamp up. Look at the fan on side on the back, I bet it nearly blow you away. Right tech stuff looks good. I suppose we ought to see what's happening on Ripon. A little. <laughs> In the large, 215. I like the look of this this box here. Because with these boxes, I've found it has got no weight to it, but with that, you put a thousand kilo weight underneath and it hooks on, so you still can use it as a weight block and use it as a box. A lot of our um, things that we use it for, basically, we need a weight on the front of the tractor, so just putting a box on like that means we've not got enough weight and enough ballast, but that sort of covers all bases, doesn't it? Good. Look at this, eh? It's on them fancy wheels. Looking at this 6R250, mm, the suspension setup's different to R215. Exactly, it's on a different chassis or something. I never noticed that before when I've looked at these. Something new I've seen today. This is a loader tractor, it's a mower, it's even a log splitter. It does it all. Only 895 quid for it all, mate. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's what it says on the back. <laughs> You'll have one for that, will you? Dear looking at tools, him and Nick. Fancy welding masks, I'm sure Andy would uh, like something like this. I'm going to do with some of these towers. We're, uh, we're running a bit short. Just been looking around Martin Lishman's stand and, um, yeah, it was saying how deep is our grain, so how deep do people think uh, our grain is at home, I had no idea. What, maybe like five or six meters. Okay. Um, and so you said this, this one was better? Yeah, so when you get to higher depths of grain, obviously you have different air flow rates, different moisture you can deal with. Um, with the mark additional pedestals, at that depth you're getting pedestal cover a 10 meter area. Um, and with that, not only will cover a larger area, the moisture will cover it as well. 
you're buying less units to do more of the work for you. Right, okay. Well, we have got some of these already and we do like them and um, yeah, we just need to get some more because if you remember we were moving the wheat yesterday because it was heating up a little bit. Okay, we yeah. have to get some more pedestals in so um, yeah. yeah, these are definitely on the shopping list. Who we've got here? Michael from GCS and Michelle. Michelle. Get Michelle, get Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> How are we doing? We're doing good. Yeah, good show. Good yeah. show, good, yeah. At least it's not raining outside. No, it's not. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, how's Joe getting on? It broke down last night when I was drilling. So we've got ploughing getting wet. The drill or the tractor? The drill. The drill. Not that belt again. You haven't got any of them, have you? No. no. Not that belt, is it? Uh, it was a chain on the mummy trim wheel. See, so I can't do it today. See, if he tells us what he wants, Jesus says we'll get a drill for him and he can hire it. <laughs> yeah, he it, it literally would as well. I would. I would. I would. Honestly. Anything. anything. You do anything. 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 Anything to keep customers happy. <laughs> Nearly, no, hang on, nearly anything to keep customers happy. I could just replace that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Michael yeah. are looking at this loading shovel. Look how big the bucket is. It's huge. Look at the size of the ram on it. I know I keep keep talking about this, but this is it's pretty impressive. Like, I would love this. It's good. It's good. I like it. It's massive. In fact, we're going to have to have a look inside, aren't we? Get inside. So, it's uh, not on one joystick, it's on two. As most of these loading shows up to be. And there's no steering wheel. So it's all on that, I'm guessing, which is cool. Uh, it's got like a bigger than a tractor bonnet out of the back. Absolutely huge. And it gives a good viewpoint from here. Sure. Yeah, I haven't brought my drone today, so this is about as good as uh, good as we can get from up here. See, it's busy. Again, Michael, it looked good, that. So, like, when you shut the lid, that bit drops down, look. Then when you open it, it lifts that up. That is engineering at its best. Nearly, 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 nearly. Look at this. Jewels on a quad. Only on one side, though. Is that just to show it off? I'm not sure. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's just, no, so they attach onto there, lock on. That's cool. Just do with one of these. Look at the extension. Right, so I'm with Chris from Pro Horizon, and he's teaching me how to use an iPhone. <laughs> how you doing, mate? Yeah, very good, thank you. Um, so you've got lots of videos on uh, TikTok and YouTube, right? You know? I have, yeah, yeah. yeah. So YouTube's YouTube growing for me recently, and obviously Facebook's my biggest one. Oh, is it Facebook you're yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So all your farming content on there, lots of great drone footage. And, thank you. Uh, yeah, I like it. Nice to meet you, mate, as well. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Brilliant. See you later. See Cheers, guys. Bye. Look at this. Play on the digger. In the trailer today, and is it part of your hire fleet? Is what I want to know. No, it's not. That the that nicely coloured one. Yes, we're looking no, at it now. It's not not in the hire fleet yet. Not yet, but possibly on order. On the back of a 260. Boom. Pink, eh? Pink, pink to make the girls wink. Wow. It is very pink. Uh oh, the ball came off that time. <laughs> oh, it's a non spreader bale, spreader bale, Lucas. Right. Also, seen something quite interesting on this. So, it's got spikes there underneath. So, you must be able to load yourself over the side and then pick it back up, and we reckon it just. Connects back in. Quick hitch hydraulic, quick hitch hydraulic connection. Yeah. So then you've got to get out and do the pipes, you can just hook it off. And hook it back on and where you go. If people haven't realised, it's very, very wet here. You can just see the water just running down the side of it. It's nice to get inside anywhere where it's a little bit drier. Uh, we've got Russell's down here with Teagles and straw blowers. This um, 340 horsepower New Holland with a Pottinger front tank on it. It's good. Biscuits, nice. Yeah, is it four meter folding this? 
be wider. Nice machine. This is uh, quite impressive. Stacking little bales makes that job easy, doesn't it? I'm doing little bales a long time ago just because of the labour requirements in doing it. It's so much easier just to get a big, um, a big baler and bale. But that really does make it easy. But I think you need to be doing a lot of little bales to worry one of them piece. So I just thought we'd look at this. Takes it all on, flings it up here, over the top, back down. You can see it coming back round there. Is Michael's giving me pedaling motions. You can win it. Can you win it? Yeah. Win oh. it. Business. Out on the Lucas, that is a, a mix wagon and a straw blower at the same time. Not sure how good a straw blower it is. But it, it'll suck some people, won't it? Absolutely. No, it'll suck work for somebody. That is technique. Well done. Now he's just showing off. I am up next on this because Michael's just uh, signed me up for it. I've just had a go on this. Um, I did a, a, a victory. Well, I didn't understand how the rules work, but now you know how the rules work. No, you're going to be able to beat me. <laughs> if you want to see how I did, then you'll have to check it out on GCS's channel um, and see my lap because him and Michelle were filming all the way through. So you see it on there. So Michael's having his um, first practice at this. Oh, I like I, I like that already. <laughs> he got that one in though. So Michael just started the timed um, timed lap. This is where the pressure's on. This, oh 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 oh! And we've got Wardy here as well. <laughs> so maybe you'll have a go in a minute. <laughs> So, will he get this one? Yeah, what's that? Well, oh! He's going to be on for beating me here, you know? Because after this, you're supposed to put your bucket down. I didn't realise that, and I did a spin around. Let's put it, oh, that, it doesn't so stop I lost time. It doesn't stop until it... Until it's touched yeah, the floor. Touched the floor. Look at that. So, I, I know already... Well he's beaten me already, I know it. I know it. Surely not. How well do you think you've done? He's beat me. 59 away. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was one, I think it was one minute 22 or something like that. How do you think you've done? I don't know. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what, the fact I'm getting my marker out tells us that you're on the leaderboard. Oh! You've done it in a time of 49.15. Well done. So does that mean I beat Joe Seals? Indeed, yes, you did. Well done, <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> I won't mention it often. No. <laughs> that is some set of discs, that, isn't it? Eh? We're just going to find John Deere Mick now. We should be a bit further down here. But I bet that takes some pulling. Look at the linkage just to lift it up. Jeez. What these guys have done with the drainage, I mean, it really sells their product, doesn't it? Well done on that. Found the sausage rolls, the b, &B tractors in there, exquisite. Seven to eight Vario. Yeah, back to the big, big Manitou's. Nice trailers on the Richard Western stand here. New Mux better. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, eh? I like this single slat as well as it's got like four chains in it. Um, that probably makes it a bit easier when it's like that. Yeah, based. We got the Ignios. Uh, Ineos. How do you say it? Ignios or Ineos? Ineos. Is it? In Ineos. Ineos. Oh, Grenadier, anyway. And um, we're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get a little drive in it, maybe possibly. A word with these guys. See if we can get in and have a look round. Gonna fill a form in to do this, and then um, oh, the chaps having a. Are <laughs> we all right? How we doing? <laughs> um, and yeah, he's going to finish his image pie and then we're going to get off and have a little uh, drive around. First of all, I've got to get in the... Sorry, we do YouTube over here, so... Uh, yeah, um, I'm here with Jason, he's going to put me in the passenger seat and then um, 
I guess we're going somewhere else on the site, are we? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Go okay, so let's get ready. <laughs> you alright then, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Getting in with us. And then we'll go for a little spin in this. Yeah. <laughs> Got a nice seat there. <laughs> so this Grenadier is a petrol one and they also do a diesel which is quite they're quite evenly matched across the engines. And it's just personal preference I guess then for, for, for people whether they have a petrol or a diesel. Um, some countries prefer petrol, some prefer diesels covering all bases. Very quiet in here. Mm -hmm. Compared to a defender it's uh, Already got some muck on it. Those lights are nice, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then you feel it click in when it comes up when you get it right over there. So that's obviously because we want more control by using low. Getting everything locked. Yeah. Well, would you turn that one? Now we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my belt on. <laughs> Don't scratch it for him. I was saying to other people. It's a bit of an undulation here, mate. Isn't it just? Hold on. Looks like we've done it in luxury. Mm. It? Makes it look very easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it is like a bog in there, there were um, some rushes growing. Very wet. I wasn't watching this at all, but you can see on this display here, which wheel's spinning, um, which I think is pretty cool. I think it might need a bit of a wash after we've finished, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more impressed uh, by that than I thought I would be, you know? I'm pleasantly surprised. That's another one now. You think to it then make most of our eighty we'll just drive now. Yeah. Give a over driver I'm a bit concerned about. <laughs> <laughs> Mick's trying to say I'm a bad driver. I, I was just going very steady. I'm Thought not I trying to say oh, so I'm, I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> he is saying it, yeah, he's just saying it. It's wheeler there, look. New family car Becky, maybe? You think she'd like that? Yeah, that boy's a tip in Unimog. And they stand. Can you even get a weight lock to you send it. Very nice fast track icon there. Back to there is an Iseki. And Iseki buy a Massey off Massey Ferguson and then rebadge it as their own. Different model. And I've got that from some inside knowledge. We've even got a 10 meter Kramer in here, which is what we had uh, on demo. So we're getting about. It's getting towards the end of the day and we're making his way back to the car. Uh, there's not many people left here. To be honest, it's a bit of a ghost town. Um, so hopefully you've liked today's video. If you have, make sure to like one. Subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, check out the people who we've seen in today's video. So that's GCS Machinery, uh, Wardy's Waffle, uh, Pro Horizon, and have we seen it if I've missed somebody I massively apologize but I don't think I have um so yeah thanks for watching guys massively appreciate it sorry it's been a long one again but you know um I just get excited about this kind of stuff too much and want to film everything so that's my downfall I should make it 12 minutes 30 minutes but it's been long but hopefully you like it it's shiny metal see you later bye Mick's laughing saying how long is this video um, but I need, <laughs> need to um, I need to say uh, a happy birthday to Craig Lee who's um, donated to Mixer Mentions sorry I didn't get you on the mixer but uh, there is a mixer here actually but I don't think they'd allow me to write on it um, so yeah happy birthday to you Craig and thanks again everyone for watching bye we're at for Andy aren't we he'll be happy with that I'll tell him I've got him a massive yeah. <laughs> yeah. People want to uh, check out a little bit of a look around this new Manitou. Now I'm adding even more stuff um, into this video, but um, 
I've done a TikTok on it. So if you check out my TikTok, Joe Seals, then um, you'll see a little bit of a walk around on it. Business. Thanks again, guys. See you. Bye.